Hi, Steamer Joe again. I've got the launch steam plant set up ready for a test. Uh, before I get started though, I'll uh, stop and show uh, a still photo of some of the boiler pieces uh, before they were before they were silver braced together. Just give you an idea what the interior of the boiler looks like. Back in a sec. Here are some of the main components of the boiler before I silver brazed them all together. Gives a good view of the the tube nest. There's 72 5 16 inch copper tubes and the dryer coil that mounts in the smoke. Well I'm back with the plant fired up. I've got a huge flash up of wires and servos and stuff. I was uh, anxious to just give a test of, of how this system might work once uh, I get it installed in the boat and get all the servos and wiring hidden. So I'm, gonna, I'm operating it with the RC transmitter. Um, throttle valve is uh, recently completed installed as well as the uh, bypass valve for controlling water to the boiler. Uh, I also have shown the transmission. Uh, my plan is to, since this is a single cylinder engine, I can't really stop it or reverse it. So I built this little transmission and uh, I'll run the engine at an idle and then uh, I'm able to shift to either a neutral position forward or reverse even though it sounds like those gears are clashing terribly uh, there's some heck for stout gears in this uh, transmission that was designed for a nitro truck so I think that's going to work out okay. Uh, the throttle. Oh, I'd hate to lose my water supply. But the throttle works. And I'm hoping I can show. <clears throat> I've got a... Uh, Auto burner control setup. Something I purchased years ago. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to be able to see how the oh I gotta turn it on. The pressure gauge is set to relieve uh, between ninety and a hundred. And the valve Since the temperature with a thermocouple and adjust the uh, burner from an idle condition to full burner when the pressure drops. So hopefully, pretty quick that. Uh, valve will turn the burner back on and you can see how it operates. Maybe I can get rid of some more steam. There it went. I don't know if you saw it, but the, the servo is right here and as the uh, pressure increases now that will just, uh, we'll turn the gas back on now, I guess. There it went. If I wasn't moving it too much, we you see it. Uh, the feed pump works well. 
Looks like I need to be adding some water to it now. You can hear how the engine slowed down when I started pumping more water into the boiler. So this is the Diana steam plant. Everything you see on the the brown painted aluminum base plate will just uh, bolt into the boat or be removable for maintenance. Right now I'm just pumping room temperature water into the boiler. Uh, I'm hoping to convert the burp tank, the condenser tank, to a feed water heater so I'll be able to, to feed uh, heated water into the boiler instead of cold. V10 engine. Well, the water's climbing back in the sight gauge now. Well, I sure hope I can get all these wires and servos and stuff camouflaged or hidden when I get it in the boat. Until next time, this is Steve with Joe. See you later.